Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn about seller's closing costs. What are they? Hey everyone, this is David Klein Lovett, broker owner of Next Home First Choice Realty in Costa Mesa. Be sure and hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications because I make videos each and every week. In fact, I make two. One is a how-to so you can learn more about real estate. And two, we tour a local home so you get to know more about properties here in Costa Mesa and the surrounding cities. Okay, so what? Oh, also, don't forget to leave a comment. I'd love to chat with you, okay? And stay to the very end of the video because I'm going to show you a way you could save 10, 20, 30, 40 thousand dollars when you sell. Maybe not for you, maybe for you, maybe for somebody you know. So stay to the end. Okay, seller's closing costs. What are they? Well, the first thing is, and it's huge. And a lot of people don't think of them as closing costs, but I think different, I think out of the box, and I think bigger and better for you. The first thing is the loan. Duh, you gotta pay off your loans. I know, I don't, wouldn't wanna pay my loan off either, but they make you do it. So whatever loans you have on the property, if any, they gotta be paid off. So that's a cost right there, all right? So you want to know all of the different costs. Another fee is the real estate commission. All right. So yeah, there's going to be a commission involved, but it's going to be well worth it. And that's another video. But do know the commission is divided four ways. You have the listing side and the listing side brokerage and the selling side or the buyer side, seller, buyer, and then their brokerage. So it's divided four ways. Now, another cost, which is negotiable, but could be a big cost, even up to 3% of the sales cost, is buyer's closing costs. Buyers don't always have enough money. And so you, you are allowed to help them out with some of their closing costs. Could be up to 3%. Now, another fee in selling, which a lot of realtors aren't gonna think it's a fee for selling, but it is, fix up costs, fix up costs and staging costs. I mean, if you're gonna paint the house, put a new roof or driveway, you're gonna, uh, some people are going to and you're, you get your money back and a good five, 600% return uh, often if you stage your home. That means where you, you're putting in a smaller furniture so the rooms look bigger and all that kind of thing. So your home looks like a model home. So that's another fee. Another fee, which is generally, is a home warranty. So that when the buyer comes in, if something doesn't work, garbage disposal breaks, they don't call you up and say, hey, you know, so you don't have the trouble. So you pay four or $500 for that, and you're good to go, but it's another fee. Termite fees, yeah, they're negotiable. They're not always super required. But here in California, we're near the coast here in Orange County. There's two types of homes. One that has termites and the other that's gonna have termites because it's wet. You know, there's a little moisture in the air and breeds termites. So you may wanna take care of the termite fee. Then there's a title fee where you are guaranteeing that there's good title for the property. That when a buyer buys it, that it's really theirs or really their banks. So you have a fee for that. And that's usually somewhere around a quarter of a percent not a whole lot, a couple thousand dollars, a little over for a million dollar property. Not a big deal, but it's, it's another fee. Escrow is the same thing. Just so if you want to figure it out, I mean, best way to do it would be to call me, but you could also, it's usually like a, a base fee, uh, two, three, four, five hundred dollars $500, plus somewhere usually, usually between $1.50 and $2 per thousand. You call up the escrow company, figure it out. Notary fees. Nowadays, we used to be maybe part of the escrow fee years ago. I've been in real estate for almost 40 years. Um, but nowadays, you know, have an escrow person come out, eh, two, three hundred dollars maybe, and but it gives you the convenience to do it in your own home. But there's notary fees. Um, another big one is on, depending if you don't shelter it, is 
property tax. Yeah. If you take all the money and you don't like buy another property or do something to protect yourself, you could have a lot of fees. And you know what? Most agents aren't going to tell you this because they want you to sell. They don't give a darn what happens to you later. Just give me that commission check. But no, you got to be careful. And I recommend dot, dot, dot. Say it again. I recommend talk to an accountant. Make sure you don't even have that fee and you can do that. All right. So let's see. Uh, oh, uh, another little fee is a state fee transfer tax stamps. It's uh, like 55 cents per every thousand. So that's just, you know, a couple hundred bucks. All right. So now you did it. You did it. You did it. You stayed to the end. Thank you. Now I'm going to give you a little bit of something. It's not me. I found a teacher, a guru, a real estate whisperer, and he taught me nine strategies that doesn't go in like, like if you had all the different realtors and they had, this is what I do, this is what I do, this is what I do, and they're all about the same. Almost, in fact, they're probably identical. You've got some stuff that are on anybody's list. And those things that we do, the strategies, in which I would love to show you, are on those. And it can save you 10, 20, 30, 40, even $50,000 when you sell. You could even, you could even sell higher than the appraised value. How do you do that? I could show you. Anyway, that's it for today. And don't forget, we have a video each and every week.